Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Crystal, the Yarny Chicken and Crazy Cat Lady. And uh, today is Live Chat Tuesday number 105. Woohoo! <laughs> um, if you are new here, welcome. If you're a returning Yarny Cat, welcome back. Happy Tuesday to everybody. Um, so if you are watching on replay, please leave me a comment in the comment section. And if you are here with me currently, please leave me a comment in the chat. So far, we have Chuck, Holistic Patriots. Uh, he stopped in earlier and said, hey, Crystal, the Yoni Chicken and Craig's Cat Lady. Happy Taco Tuesday, everyone. We had Jen Reeves stop in early and Lulu's Treasure Trove. She says hi to everyone in the chat. Uh, Taylor LT, good morning. Uh, also, she says, hi, chat family. Julia, welcome in, Julia. Jay Paradise. Janice Erfer, welcome in. And Vita Sinha. Uh, Sally Horner, how's your husband? Uh, Jen Reeves is still here. Well, I'm glad you're still here. <laughs> Well, happy Tuesday, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I read your, your comment, Chuck. <laughs> tacos. <laughs> it's funny. We don't do Taco Tuesday. We just have tacos anytime. <laughs> Welcoming, Kim. How you doing? Oh, last live of the month. Woohoo. <laughs> then I got a schedule next month. But the next month. It is my birthday month. I know Kim G is it's her birthday month as well. Uh, a couple other people that I can't think of right now. I know it's their birthday month. Uh, Michelle Courgette's in Kansas. I believe it's hers also. There's, there's one other one I'm forgetting. I know it. But Kim G, I think you're the 23rd or 24th. I know it's around a couple of days before mine. Janice, your birthday's tomorrow. Well, happy birthday. Happy early birthday. He's doing great. Bandages came off today and rehab starts Thursday. Well, awesome. Man, that's a long, <laughs> long run. Um, 23rd. I knew it was, so it's two days before mine. Okay. Oh, and Vita's also a June baby. Hers is the 20th. Well, happy uh, June June month birthdays to everybody. Oh, Jay Paradise is June 27th, two days after mine. Awesome. Michelle, I know your birthday is in June. When is it? Yeah, it is pretty cool. My birthday and potiversary is Sunday. Oh, well, happy early birthday. Let's see. So Thursday is the first, second, third. So yours is the fourth. Well, happy early birthday, Michelle. Welcome in, Jessica Johnson. How you doing? Yeah, I know Michelle is going to be doing a um, birthday slash potiversary on Sunday for uh, for her. So you played the birds chirping and Ozzy stopped to look and listen. Oh, that's funny. That is so funny. <laughs> uh, my my neighbor Violetta was over here, I think, two days ago. No, it might have been Thursday or Friday of last week. Uh, they, they'd they had weekend plans. So anyway, she was over here and that little short that I did a while back of the chicken sounding like it says Yahoo. She was standing on the sidewalk talking to me and all of a sudden the chicken goes, Yahoo! <laughs> and she's like, what was that? I go, that was one of our chickens. And she just burst out laughing. I mean, she goes, 
I've never heard a chicken make that sound. I go, neither have I. <laughs> but it was so funny. Welcome in, Alex. How are you? It is. I, I had uploaded a short a while back, so I do have it on my channel. I mean, it's, it's not exactly Yahoo, but that's what it sounds like when you're at a distance. Like, say you're in the front yards. I mean, in the front yard somewhere out by the, the road or something, and you hear the chicken, it sounds like it's saying, Yahoo! <laughs> Aw, Sally Horner has been a member for one month. Awesome, awesome. And I know you just recently got gifted uh, a membership, and then you were gifted a membership before that. So that is awesome. You were able to do the, the chat milestone. Alex says he's doing great. Awesome. I do have the items for the last little bit that's going to be going into the monthly giveaway today. June is for members and super chatters. And it's also my birthday month. So I have all the extra little goodies. I haven't picked out the yarn yet, but I'm going to do it a little different next month. Oh, thank you, Sally. Make sure I press the right one. Um, I am going to be doing all in one video showing everything instead of um, putting it little bits uh, throughout the month, showing it on my lives because next month um, the member and super chatter giveaway is going to be going on. Plus I'm going to be doing a 1500 subscribers giveaway so that's going to be two big giveaways and I don't need to go overboard on on a lot of it so I'm going to try to keep it you know I've already picked out a whole bunch of stuff for both of them except for the yarn I got to find yarn for it but yeah so next month I won't be showing any on my live uh live shows but uh, I'm going to be doing also a few giveaways for my birthday uh, in celebration. So, all right, Sally Horner. And I'll also be giving some tickets away, uh, before the live ends for, uh, the monthly giveaway. I always forget to give tickets away and I mean to, I just forget it. So I actually got the night bot tab up. <laughs> all right. Where is it? Sally Horner times three tickets. Thank you, Sally. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Taylor. I did not check Bella's. Uh, um, that might be wrong about how many she's away. So, uh, yeah. Welcome in, Michelle J., the crocheting dog mom. How are you doing? And good morning to you. So I started working on another one of these. But it's with um, it was some Yarn Bee hand-dyed yarn. And it was the one I made that knit stole out of um, the black with the pops of color, the yellow, pink, blue. And I think there's orange in it also. Michelle J is working in the yard and listening in. Well, that's perfectly fine. I hope you uh, don't get too hot. <laughs> it's a little humid here where we are in Texas. We're actually supposed to get rain, but it don't even look that cloudy yet. So maybe it'll go away. So what's everyone working on? I'm still working on my diamond painting. Uh, 
I've also been doing other stuff in between, so. We're also going to go see my aunt tomorrow. She did finally get moved. They moved her on Friday. Uh, but she's more closer to Houston. And me and my grandmother don't like driving in Houston traffic. Um, so we, uh, our neighbor, Violetta, is going to take me and my mom. I don't know if my grandmother is going to go or not yet. Um, but we'll be we'll be going to see her tomorrow so i'm very excited um y'all will be moving to friendswood area in the next few months i am kind of like an hour away um about an hour north of houston so i'm still working on a blanket for a family member i keep losing my crojo all oh. I kind of had that problem a little bit and I just kind of struggled through it and found something very easy and quick, like the, the head kerchiefs. Um, so, um, Julia's working on a knit blanket and the giraffe. Oh, is that the giraffe for things we're making a Thursday? Janice is also working on a knit blanket. Awesome. After spending a few weeks in Houston, I don't complain about the traffic in Dallas anymore. So you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> they just see it's traffic down there is more hectic and crazy than we are used to. People speed. People don't pay attention. They cut you off. And it's like, nope, nope. Not doing the highway. I go back roads if I can. Less chance of accidents. Jessica is trying to figure out what I want to do to this talk. What you mean what you want to do? <clears throat> Are you stuck on it or something? Uh, and Vita is working on a simple knit scarf as I am away on vacation. Oh, well, enjoy your vacation. That's awesome. Where'd y'all go for vacation? Uh, uh, Julia says, yes, I didn't get it finished this month. Had to take my dad back to the hospital. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Is he okay? Houston traffic is a nightmare for sure. <laughs> yes, it is. And we weren't, uh, when my aunt was first in the hospital, we weren't even going all the way into Houston. It was like on the outskirts and it was still hectic. And I'm like, I got to find a different route there. And we found another route to go. And it was so much easier, so much less uh, stressful. Hey, Granny D, welcome in. How you doing, Granny D? Chuck says, driving from Katy to Sugarland can be an hour by itself. Yep. We actually used to live around uh, Sugarland area. We lived kind of in between, um, almost around Angleton. It was a small town called Alvin. Uh, that's where I grew up until I was eight. And then um, my, when my grandfather, every weekend, he would go fishing down at Texas City. <clears throat> uh, Jessica says, kinda, it's for my daughter, like a long sweater too, but she wants the bra area to be different. And I don't know if she wants it like a tank or a tee. Uh, I get you. So you're just trying to figure and work it out and how you want to proceed. Well, at least you're not stumped on something, you know, like halted completely. Um, doing well. I hope you are. Yes, I'm doing pretty good. Alvin is booming now. Yeah, the last time. Oh, my gosh. I think I was there 
2002 or 2000, no, maybe 2006, somewhere around in there, 2001 to 2006, somewhere in there. I think it was more closer to the early 2000s um, instead of mid, but it completely changed from what I remember growing up. They used to have a park. I remember this when I was little. They had a park and it had prairie dogs. Uh, like you could see them every once in a while. They were fenced in and they would pop up out of the ground and just crawl around and go back in their holes. I thought that was kind of cool. And there was an actual bank. I don't know if they still have them anymore, but the bank had real alligators in in like a little area uh, inside the bank. And I'm like, ugh. <laughs> but it, they were babies at the time. I don't know if they swapped them out for more babies when they got a little bigger. I really don't know. But it was, it was interesting. He got out yesterday, but he says he still doesn't feel good. Oh, well, that stinks. I I hope they, uh, well, I hope he feels better and whatever's going on with him. I hope he uh, gets it taken care of and hopefully he won't have to go back. Last year, it looks like a Houston is growing a lot towards the woodlands and Conroe. Yeah, I noticed that too. We had to drive through um, the pass that way also. Uh, she didn't want anything crochet until she tried it on. And it fits her good. I thought, wow, she's 14. Well, I'm glad that um, it fit her and that she liked it. I know sometimes when you put on crochet items and you try them on, you're like, man, this just don't sit right on me. <laughs> and it's like you don't want to wear it. I've had that problem with shawls. But due to my back and my scoliosis that I had, my shoulders are a slightly uneven. This one is higher than this one so things don't sit right on me so like when I put on a triangle shawl it it just don't don't seem to stay on for some reason Kim G says people in Houston be crazy I met someone near where I lived that had a pet baby tiger whoa I can't even imagine. I wonder how they even was able to keep a tiger at their house. You think after it got so big, they would have to, you know, unless they had like a farm or something somewhere. <laughs> That's just, I've always wanted like a, uh, a bigger cat, you know, so I could, uh, I could like lay on it instead of it lay on me. <laughs> like Joe Exotic. Hmm. You know, there's actually a place near where I live that has exotic animals, like on a um, ranch or something like that, where you can go and visit them. Or not visit them, but look at the animals. Oh, that was over 40 years ago. Okay. <laughs> 
well, maybe back then it might have been okay for them to have a little baby tiger. <laughs> Members of the cat family are always so majestic. Yeah. Welcome in, Sonia. How are you doing? <clears throat> See, we're at 21 minutes. I'm going to try to stick the 30, 30 minutes before I show what's going on uh, for the monthly thing. You know what? I'll, I'll just do it now so I don't forget and do it a little later. Um, these people were in a regular home in a regular neighborhood. Not a good idea. Yeah. Because I, I, even though, you know, it can be tame with the people that raise it, other people it may not. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I'm doing pretty good. Oh, thank you, Sonia. Um, this was a free pattern on a blog site. Oh, I think I put it in Thursday's video in the description box, the, the link to the free pattern. I think it was crochetandcraft.com. I'm, I'm really not 100% sure, but I know it's in Thursdays of last week's video in the description box. Welcome in, Ganny Joe. How you doing? Yeah, other people's pets too. I think they would... Uh, uh, poor little <laughs> other animals <laughs> be attacked by a huge tiger. <laughs> um. Welcome in, Ellie. How are you doing? Oh, you're here for a little bit. Awesome. All right. So let me show you what I'm putting in for uh, today's uh, going in the monthly giveaway. And this is the last live of the month. So this is the last few items going in. And I tried not to go overboard again. And I still did. And I'm like, mm. that's why next month I'm showing everything in one video because I got two big giveaways going on next month. Plus, I want to do at least two or three for my birthday. So my grandmother found these at, I think these were Hobby Lobby. Yes. And they are Easter window clings. Now, the, as long as you don't open them, they they should be good till I had a blue screen pop up on my computer for next year. And they, um, she actually found these for 19 cents. <laughs> I kept one because I thought they were just too cute. Um, I never activated my version of Windows, so it pops up and blocks everything on on my screen. Welcome, Jesse, the Crafty Gypsy. How are you? Oh, I'm glad you're doing good, Ellie. Uh, after a three-day weekend of no babysitting, I'm back at it. Well, at least you got a little bit of a break. And now this came in an Easter basket, but I thought for those of you that have grandkids or, you know, kids that are younger, I thought you might... Uh, Somebody might like it. These are stickers and they're peeps. I think they had eggs and the little rabbit peeps. But there's 68 stickers in this thing. It also comes with a puzzle, which is also peep related. And it this is, I think, what it's supposed to look like. So it's something fun for you to do with your younger kids or whatever. And then Peep Candy, the little rabbits. Then I also have two skeins of the cotton collage. And this is 46% cotton, 33% superwash fine merino wool, and 12% polyamide, 9% PBT, whatever the heck that is. 
Um, and the color is Sunshine Multi, and there's two of those. It's also a one weight yarn, so this would be perfect for socks, although given the name Cotton Collage, but being a one weight, you can make some socks out of that. Crochet or knit. Then I actually found, I made a bunch of these when we had a garage sale one year and I had gotten rid of a lot of them. And I was going through a tote of crochet items that I have in my closet. And I found this and I'm just like, oh, I used to give these away all the time. Now this is like a little scrubby. I heard a thing going off. Thank you, Janice. And it's the scrubby cotton, very soft, non-abrasive, and it has a little handle on it. And what you do is you wrap it around this finger, put it on that one, or put it under your middle finger, and it stays on your hand, and you can scrub with it. And I made a bunch of these to put in our garage sale, and some of them sold, and then the rest I just put in giveaways. But that was my last one. So, and that was actually my design. I just never wrote up the pattern. Yes, I heard you. <laughs> okay, so Janice, I gotta write your super chat down. Thank you so much. No, I already did the chicken. I don't have a kitty sound. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my mom, everybody. Hello. I sent a pay. You mean a PayPal? What do you do when you plant your tomatoes? Anything special for fertilizer or seek a trick? Not really. Mama has a few uh, secrets that she does that I never did, and she does better. So, oh, you mean you? Okay. Um, all right. So Janice or fur? Is that how you say your last name, Erfer? <clears throat> and there it is. Um, so, Mama actually takes, I think, powdered milk or just regular milk and puts it in the soil as they're growing. And uh, it's 13, 13, 13 fertilizer. And um, it's like little pellets. She puts that on top of the soil and then waters it. Then she's also done uh, tomato paste watered down. They flourished last year. So it's, it was amazing. I don't see the PayPal. Uh, unless it went to spam. Nope. Maybe it takes a second. I could go and check PayPal. Welcome in, um, Asia Joe. I grow my tomatoes in containers, Kim. Most of my garden is in containers. That's what I've done uh, mostly, except for last year when I did Joe's contest uh, for the cucumber and uh, zucchini. I, I did a whole row on our pasture um, of half and half. Welcome in, Rebecca. Melanie J, I saw you comment earlier and I skipped you. I'm so sorry. Welcome in, Melanie. Uh, welcome in, Pamela Hunter. How you doing? How is everybody doing? I don't see it yet. Um, you know what? Let me let me go to actual PayPal and I'll check. Maybe somehow the notifications are. Uh, 
Nope. Did you send it to the right um, email? It's in my um, in my description box. Oh, hi, Tank. How are you? <clears throat> no, I was trying to click out. And it took me somewhere else. No, I don't want to apply for PayPal credit. <laughs> it like just spazzed on me. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're doing good, Tank. So how are you doing, Melanie J? My mom was just in here uh, using the microwave and I had forgot to lock the back door. Well, I'm glad I didn't because she I would have had to get up and let her in. But uh, and that's not a big issue, but I don't believe I don't like leaving y'all uh, and just disappearing. <laughs> but uh, their microwave broke in her camper. And uh, so. Yeah. Melanie is doing good, waiting on some more rain, but I bet Tank is, too. <laughs> Yeah, it was actually calling for rain, and it looks pretty um, not rainy. <laughs> I don't know if it's still calling for rain or not, but we had like a 35% chance uh, last night. I said 35. It's still calling for, for rain. Oh, by 5 p.m., we have a whole 24% chance of rain. Oh, no, it goes up. What is that? Uh, about like 50% chance of rain. But we have 58% humidity. Ugh. And you're in um, Nevada, right, uh, Taylor? I bet it is dry out there. We got a good pour down of rain yesterday, about 3 p.m. or so. Ellie, aren't you in Texas? I thought you were in Nevada. I thought Las Vegas, but I didn't want to say it wrong. That's what I thought, Ellie. Um, because we saw in different spots around where we live, that lightning in the distance. So I know other parts of Texas got rain, but we didn't. We got a couple of little sprinkles. And I'm like, oh, I wish the, humid <laughs> the humidity would go away. <laughs> but it'd just be more humid after the rain, so... <sighs> Melanie thought she was going to get some yesterday, but she didn't. Yeah, pollen is pretty bad. Hi, Debbie. D. Ferguson, how you doing? <clears throat> well, hopefully.
hopefully uh, you'll get some rain tank, unless you don't want it. <laughs> I get a Timu order today, and it's technically all stuff for my channel. Yes, 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 Ellie. I can understand that big time. It was so, so humid yesterday. Only thing that says, that says, <laughs> that saved me is I stayed in the shade most of the time when I went outside. Uh, Debbie's working. I thought so. Usually you pop in when you have your lunch break or something. I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Welcome in, Maritza. How you doing? Wow. Tank says, we are waterlogged. It rains almost every day. We are turning into subtropical, but it was in the 50s yesterday. Wow. I know how, what you mean by waterlogged. It was like there was a day, a couple of days in a row, we were just getting really bad rain. And the pasture garden that we had got flooded and it took three to five days um, for it to kind of get uh, dried up. Yeah, I got your super chat, Janice. Um, oh, I'm, I'm having a, a good day. Uh, Maritza, I hope you're, uh, you have a good day as well. Thinking of Timu, make, they make sure it's, it's tough to get the free item. I don't have tons of people to invite a million times. I know it's like on some of the games, they only allow like three to five ex existing users and the rest have to be new users for you to get the rest of the stuff. So it's, it's a jip. I just quit playing the game. And I let my credit build up because some of the games, um, not games, some of the gift box things that you open every day will give you credit. So, and also Taylor LT taught me this. If you place an order and it's within the 30 days uh, from buying it and the price changed for something you bought, Bought, you can actually get a price adjustment and they give you credit back. I thought that was cool. So I had like a dollar and 74 cents credit. So. But. Um, yeah. Yep, they let you get close. I got down to like 20 cents one time. Um, and it it had to take uh, it new, u I mean, new users. And I so I lucked out. And it was like over $100 worth of stuff. Uh, it was like five items over $100. And I didn't know anybody else. And I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm done playing this. <laughs> I'll just... Uh, I'll just let the credit uh, credit rack up and uh, then end up, you know, wow, you almost got $6 for more one order. That's awesome. There was one order that was late and they gave me the $5 credit for being late. I'm not going to bother people you know, if they want to check it out, they will on their own. Yeah. 290 credit. Awesome, Melanie. Yeah, and May's giveaway ends on Thursday, or it ends tomorrow at midnight. Um, this month includes comments. So, um, 
my mind just went blank. Um, it includes comments this month. And then on the first, I will draw the, we, me and my grandmother will draw the winner. And tomorrow I have to draw for the whisk of gift card giveaways. And I'll do that in the evening. I'll probably end it about, oh, we're going to see my aunt tomorrow. All right, so I'll draw whatever time I get home. If I get home earlier, then I'll just try to draw at six or seven. So if you haven't entered for that, uh, you still have time. Well, I've been getting far too many emails, and you've got to be careful. If you CC it, it sends all the emails. I don't want my email everywhere. Oh, <laughs> <clears throat> is that like a group email you mean like sending it to multiple people I used to do that and then I like I said I just quit doing little games and things like that because they just they jip you <laughs> you get so close and then and you only got 24 hours to do it it's like what's the point Oh, wow. Dozens of people. I get it from maybe three or four. <laughs> yes, the group email. People are just listing the emails. They should BC blind copy is so no one can see each other. Oh, okay. They do. I got all the fish and didn't get anything. Oh, that stinks. I got down to the last fish and I think I had like 91% done and then I ran out of time and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm not playing the fish game anymore. The one that scares me the most is the here, click on my link one because they can get all your info from that one. Oh, okay. Got to head off. Hope you all have a great day and stay hydrated. You too, Asia Joe. Thanks for stopping in. I hope you have a good uh, Tuesday afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> You gave up on the fish and farm over the weekend. It just seems like you will never get the gifts. Yeah, it 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 just don't work. <laughs> the only thing that worked is the free gift part at the very top when you go on the little person symbol. And you go to free gifts and items and it pops up the other window. Um with the list the one that's at the top that says um free gifts or yeah free gifts i've gotten that twice um and that was because i was new and i invited new users i was able to get that one oh thank you debbie <laughs> um she says i have to go back to work see you friday all righty well I'll See you Friday. I hope you have a good week. And thank you again for the super. Um, now I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> um, I've gotten that twice. Once was the hair dryer and the two pairs of headphones was one. And that was like at a $60 value. The second one was like $16. You know, a little thing of nail polish and a tin flute. I got the, the free gifts twice. And after that, you get so close and you don't get it. So I just gave up. Um, all right. D. Ferguson. Times three tickets. And there we go. 
welcome in, uh, Mishi or Mitchie. I don't know. How do you say your name? We were talking about Timu. The app Timu, kind of like Amazon, but cheaper than Amazon. I mean, I like some of their products that they have. Uh, I actually got this mood ring on there. It was 98 cents. Fits really well. Um, and I love it. I've, I've gotten diamond paintings from there. And I have beads and jewelry stuff coming. That's what I'm getting from my uh, channel. And so there are some good things on there at a decent price cheap price <laughs> now those cat gloves that I bought that you can put on your hand and it has the uh, plastic little comb teeth that you pet your cat or dog and it collects the hair that was like two dollars and something or actually it was for something and I got it for almost two dollars and um, Oreo don't like it she runs from me when I try to brush her with it. I'll give her a treat if she lets me. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, well, at least not much money is wasted. But the same exact thing on Amazon was like 10 bucks. And I'm like, here's one for two something. It's made a little cheaper, but it does the same thing. She let me brush her with it the first time. But now every time... Um, she sees me with it. She runs. She don't like that. You're on their payroll without making money. Uh, Jessica said it's BS. Every day I get the same discounts, so I don't get what the point of all if it doesn't change. Yeah, I can understand that. Reminds you of Wish, kind of. Welcome in, Cindy. I said hi to you earlier, but I think you were... Uh, gone I ordered once only because I had the big coupon I do remember those mood rings they were all the rage around 1981 or so yeah I am enjoying Timu I have been ordering clothes and love everything I have received aww I, I have gotten a few things, and I haven't actually got a shirt or clothing item from them yet. But I did order, I have a Roku, and I ordered one of those glow-in-the-dark uh, slip-on covers for my remote. Because at night, sometimes I can't find it. And I think that would be very helpful. I've ordered the glow-in-the-dark yarn, which I put in this month's giveaway. So eventually I want to get me some for myself. Um, but let's see, what else have I ordered? I don't even know. <laughs> I haven't even tried the headphones that I got for free yet. Yeah. Uh, Cindy says, yeah, I remember my mother got a mood ring for me and my sister back then fun most of the time it's always blue on me there has been one time it was like an aqua pink like aqua in the middle and then pink on the outside other than that it's been just deep blue oh hi tammy twyford you're not late welcome in Speaking of eBay, I, I ended up, I used to have a phone, um, it was called an HTC Vivid, 
and it was white. And I had one years ago, back when they were first, like, like when they first came out, I had one. And then that one had messed up. And then I got another one off eBay. I don't know, like five or six years, seven years ago. Maybe even longer than that. And that one was fairly cheap. Well, I had been playing this game, and I think it done something to it. But... I was looking around yesterday on eBay because my, my grandmother needs to change the internal battery on her cell phone, which it's not a cell phone. She uses it uh, over Wi-Fi to, for like Donner, uh, Dollar General uh, scanning, you know. So she found a spare battery with the extra parts to take the back off. And I was like, man, I need to see if they have another HTC. I did not know that that phone is considered rare and vintage. Here's the cool thing. I found one for $14.99. It does have chips in the body, but I have my old one. I found a, a, uh, a thing to uh, look at that can tell me how to take it apart. And all I need to uh, do that is all the little tools that my grandmother is getting. I can take the body off the phone and put it on the new one I got and it needed a back cover. Well, I have a back cover for it. So, and an extra, that'll give me two spare batteries for it uh, because I think the screen went out on the one I have. It kind of lights up in the back of the phone um, under the screen, you see it light up a little bit, but the screen won't work. The last time I tried to replace a screen on a phone, when I would touch something, it would register over here. So it was offset. No matter how many times I tried to set the um, touch screen to balance it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't work right. So, but the good thing about the HTC Vivid, it's better than this phone that I use. So I, I plan to film tutorials with it, and it has an autofocus. This camera uh, phone that I use does not. So I'm kind of excited, and it was such a good deal. After tax, it was only $16. So if I can get the body off the other phone, replace it on the new one I bought, and put the back It'll work great, he said. Uh, I contacted the person before I actually bought it, asked the questions I wanted to know. And he said, yes, it should work just fine for that purpose, blah, blah, blah. Now, he said, I don't know about the networks. And I said, I'm not going to be using it on anyone's network, so it won't matter. So, yay, I'm excited. I used to love my HTC Vivid. Now, brand new even though they're vintage, but like say someone had one that was unopened is way over $200. So if I can get it to get, get it working and do what it needs to do for me, I'm happy. Oh, Ellie was leaving. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. Got to go. Have a beautiful and blessed day. Well, I know she's already gone, but bye, Ellie. Have a good day. Um, we have a Roku in each room. We actually do, too. We have the, the little bitty one like that, and it plugs in by USB to the TV. Uh, I have ordered six dresses and three tops. Returned one top and one dress. Got the credit in three days. That's awesome. The Nokia 2. I, I think I remember those. I also had one. I cannot remember what it was. And I, it was kind of like a phone about that big. And I really liked that one, too. It, it 
And plus the HTC has where you can move your files on the phone, like go to a certain place, move the file from the internal storage to the SD card and still use it. This phone that I have that I'm on right now, you can't do that. You can migrate all your data to the SD card, but then you can't use it. <laughs> you can't just move individual files, which I did not like, but I've gotten used to it. Um, so it's, uh, God, what was that one? A uh, how? Hi, hi, Hawaii or something. It looks like Hawaii, but it's not, it's not Hawaii. Uh, but it was something like that. Um, and I, that was that. I liked that phone pretty good. Then there was one time I had at one point, early 2000s, or actually it was mid 2000s. I had a little bitty flip phone. It was supposedly the smallest flip phone on the market. And it was like not touch screen or anything. It was like before they had smartphones, but I mean, open, it was like maybe that big. <laughs> it was, it was really small, but it fit everywhere, anywhere and everywhere you needed to put it. And I was working at our movie theater and I took it out of my pocket to answer the phone and I dropped it in my bucket of soapy water. <laughs> and I'm like, Oh my God. So I took it out, took out the battery, opened everything up so it could dry out and it came back on and worked. I was like, yay. <laughs> uh, I miss my Blackberry. I wish they were still around. Oh, I think I remember those. Motorola flip phone. Yeah, and then I had one where it slid, the little keyboard slid out. Oh, I like that one, too. I don't remember the make or model of that one, but it was so much easier when you could text, like, little keyboard. The one my um, that I had that was the little bitty flip phone, it flipped open, and then you had to type, you know, three... Uh, a, I mean, uh, three twos to get a, a C, you know, kind of that way. And you do, 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 do. And I'm like, those were annoying. <laughs> that might have been it, a uh, Motorola Razor. I do recall those Motorola flip phones. I had one that the keyboard twisted to be an MP3 player. Oh, well, that's cool. Mine looked like a mini Blackberry. Ah. Did I set it right there? Let me see. Oops. Yep. Now I'm going to knock everything over. I actually have the HTC phone here. Now, this one is the one that I ordered. And this outside cover is what I have to get off this white part which it does come apart from the uh, phone. I did notice right here is the split. So I would just have to get that off. And then this is the piece that that phone was missing. And I got that. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. $16 and all I need is technically the camera on it. <laughs> I thought it'd be pretty good. Uh, I used to love this phone's camera it it was uh it would auto focus and this one don't do it so i am super happy that i found found it regular phone keyboard 
I got an old Nokia, like the first ones ever made, but it's a taser. Oh, wow. That's kind of neat. I had one of those, the old Nokia little, you know, square looking ones and about that thick. I had one of those. This, is that what you're meaning, Tank? This, is that an iPhone? This is an HTC. HTC Vivid. This is like the one I just bought on uh, eBay. And I actually think I found this one online for like 50 bucks. And it worked great. Even though the... Uh, the battery, I thought it was the battery that went out on it, but it wasn't. It was the screen, but I bought an extra battery, so I have two batteries for this phone, plus it comes with one, but the neat thing was there are like six screws when you take the back off, and that's all you need to take off to get this outer casing off. So I can replace the other phone that I just had bought. And uh, I'm very excited. And I forgot. I know it has a place, yeah, for an SD card. So I did take the SD card out of this one. Uh, anyone know... A good free app to identify picture of plants and bugs. Um, you know what? I will post that in the chat. I think it's plantid.net. Or maybe... Find a plant. I think that's where you click and you upload a photo. No, that's plant search. Uh, plant net. I think it's plantnet.com. Okay. Plant.id. Yeah, this is it. And it's free. Um. <laughs> Y'all had a suitcase mobile phone. Wow. Uh, also, there's something Tank said. Picture this has 30 free day trial. Uh, this one, Plant ID, will do plants. You take a picture of the plant, upload it to that app. They do have an app in the app store or online you can do it and it gives you a percentage of what like it'll give you just an example five different items and each item will has like 58 percent uh likely to be this or 48 percent likely to be this 30 percent it gives you the percentage of how likely it is the, that picture of that plant and i, I think you either base it on the leaves or the flower, uh, take multiple photos of your plant, upload it, let us identify and view the results in seconds. This web demo enables you to identify up to five plants per week for free. Well, so there is a, a limit. Plant ID can identify, uh, identify more than 12,000 plants including flowers, tree, bushes, fungi, 
uh, from all over the world. Oh, well, health assist feature can tell the difference uh, between pest, fungal disease, and overall overwatered plants. That's pretty cool. Uh, welcome in, Gwen. How are you doing? But I thought there was another app. Well, there's the picture of this. Plant net. Is that, it? Is that one it? This is the one I remember. Okay. Identify.plantnet.org. This is the one that I remember using. Same concept. You upload a picture and it gives you a percentage. So... That might be help a little helpful also. <sighs> Man, my picture got fuzzy all of a sudden. Can't you just upload to Google search? I have no clue. I know some phones allow you to search the picture um, and will um, match, uh, but I I don't think all all of the phones. Well, it got a little better, but it's also due to the lighting. I have one light bulb out, um, but. This evening, uh, Violetta's husband's going to come look at this um, light socket in the fan because every time I put a new bulb in it, it comes on for a couple of seconds and then goes right off. So I don't know. I think it's just kind of loose or the connect connectors are bad. So I don't think it's a dirty screen because it don't look as fuzzy there. But it could be my internet, too, so. I notice sometimes I lag <laughs> over there. <laughs> Google Lens does it, too. It will identify most anything. The only bad part is they also link you to places to purchase. Oh, uh, yeah. Hmm. Sounds like a short in the socket. That's not safe. No, I know. That's why, um, that's why he's coming to look at it. I mean, I, it's three light bulbs in the fan and only one, only two of them are on. It's been doing that for, I don't know, six months or so. And I always just thought it was the bad light bulbs because we were keeping them outside um, during the time the house was getting remodeled. Not remodeled. Uh, new floor and new wall. Well, I guess that's a remodeling in a way. Um, while after our... Uh, water heater flooded I just got done mowing the lawn I am doing hubby's job for a while oh well you kind of got to right Sally yep only one goes out and it's uh 
it's a ceiling fan with the light bulbs in it. It's got three places and only one uh, goes out. Now it came on the other day when I re, um, replaced the bulb three to four seconds later, it blinked out and I couldn't get it to come back on. And I tried two other bulbs after that. So it wasn't the bulbs because they worked in other places. So I don't know. I like mowing too, as long as it's not too hot. <laughs> but uh, with our mower, Mama likes to do it because it's kind of like still under warranty. And she don't want, uh, want anything happen to the riding lawnmower. So it's like, she'll let me do it when she's not feeling good enough. But I know, you know. It could have worked itself loose when the fan jiggles. That that could be a possibility. I don't know. The fan does kind of move slightly, but it's not. It might be out of, out of balance. But uh, Jorge uh, Bailetta's husband can fix that. He's actually partially electrician. He does that on the side. He used to be a, an electrician. And now he works at a different company and... Um, does the electrician stuff on the side. Probably Jessica, because this house was built ugh, early eighties, mid eighties, somewhere around there. So it's slightly older than me. <laughs> the couple of times that I did mow in the last year, every time it was always hot and I wore a tank top and got sunburned. <laughs> so <laughs> I always try to wait till the evenings, at least when it's not, it's, Hotter in the evenings, yes, but part of our pasture is in the shade and the front yard's in the shade. So I had to go replace all the little metal clips to my wires, not the wire itself, just the little clips were jump. Oh. Hey, Connie, my BFYF, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. We have a riding mower too. We use that out back. Yeah, the we have one that has a steering wheel. We don't have a zero turn. There was one time uh, our our neighbor before they moved let me use his zero turn, and I couldn't get used to it. I, I had to practice without the blades trying to get it to turn, and I had to like, okay, which way? <laughs> it was so funny. But our neighbor on this side of us. He's a real tall man, and he has a zero-turn mower, but it's kind of the smaller kind. So when you see him sitting on it, oh, my gosh, it's so funny. Big old man sitting on a little bitty mower, <laughs> but it works. Yeah, I need a writer. I got a big yard to push kills my I bet so I bet so we live on one acre so push mowing that would be a lot I think it takes about an hour and a half because uh, we have to go slower in our pasture because there's a lot of dips and holes and different stuff and it beats you around and you're sitting here doing like this 
jerking around if you go too fast. So, and plus, we don't want to tear up the mower. But, uh, <laughs> yes, I love mowing too. It's for women, not men. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, Sally, Tank wants to know what your favorite colors are, just in case you hadn't seen. Okay, she saw. Um, mine are, is an acre. Gary, okay. I was about to say, who's, who's that? <laughs> Gainus. <laughs> Gary's happy to have a riding lawnmower, too. Well, that's good. I got the biggest yard around. something I call him when I'm mad at him. Okay, so that's like um, that's a little nickname. N no, you're joking. Okay. Uh. Oh, my goodness. Well, let's see. I've taken my fifth shot of Humera. Um, I think I've been taking it almost two months now. And I quit having the injection reactions. No more rashes from it. Uh, so I'm very happy. Um, one, two. One more dose no, three more doses and I'll have to reorder some. And they can send almost uh, almost up to three months at a time if, if needed. I used to bush hog 12 acres a week and mow three acres on a riding mower each. Wow, we. That's a lot of mowing. Me too. Uh, I was, it's getting a little easier to do the injection also. Uh, it was so nerve wracking because I'm allergic to like eight medications, severe allergic reactions. So I was afraid to take it in the beginning. And I was so scared. My legs were shaking up and down like this and my hands were going like this. I was, I thought I was fixing to have a panic attack taking my first in, injection. The second one, my legs didn't shake too much, but yes, I did. Sally, I've eaten, eaten, we've eaten half of it. <laughs> it was very, very good. I mentioned um, it, I think two, two weeks ago or three weeks ago in a Thursday video. And, um, it's very, very good. It's not very strong. It's not very sweet. It's really, really good. It has a great taste. Um, we sold that place in Texas and moved to Tennessee. Yeah. I hate mowing as a teenager. Took turns with my sister using a push mower on our lawn about one and a half acres. Wow. Yes, I I love it. I don't just like it. I love it. It was it it's very good. And um I think I've eaten more than mama. And I'm not a big jelly and toast person, and I've eaten a lot of jelly and toast in the last couple of weeks since you sent it. I think I tagged you in the video that um, I showed it in. Uh, so 
I remember when I was little and my grandfather would mow, he'd put me on the top of it, of the, the hood, and he would go real slow and let me ride with him. And then when I got old enough, I started help mowing. <laughs> Switch to biscuits and gravy. Yeah, I love biscuits and gravy. But that, that jelly Sally sent me is pretty good. I had never uh, had currant jelly, and that's what she sent. Make some corn cob jelly. Is it made from corn? <laughs> you thinking about making biscuits and gravy? We actually had that the other night. Momo's homemade biscuits that she does in the um, cast iron skillet. The big biscuits that she makes. Somebody once called them uh, cat head biscuits or something because they were so big. Spicy strawberry jelly is good. I We had a farmer's market. Well, we have a farmer's market here on Saturdays, I believe. And they changed the location, but my grandmother found out where it was. And she would buy jellies there and different vegetables and stuff like that. And she found... A strawberry jalapeno jelly. Really, really good. You boil the cobs or cook them overnight in a crock pot. Strain and use it as your juice. Tastes like honey. I have never heard of that. I'm going to have to let Momo know. That's kind of... Have y'all ever heard of garlic jelly? I got some when I was in Louisiana, I don't know, two years ago, three years ago, found it. Oh, my gosh. It was such strong garlic. You could use it sparingly on a piece of bread, and it was just like garlic toast. It was so good. And I have been looking for a recipe for it for several years now. I found one, but it, it's, it, it doesn't seem like it's the same. Um, but it was, it was really good. I make them like red lobster with buttery garlic and cheese on them. Ooh. I make that during the fall. If you can make a tea, then you can make jelly. I have watched my grandmother make jelly before many, many times out of blackberries. And I know that she strains it and, and um, because she don't like the seeds on it. It bothers her stomach. But I see how she's done it. I've helped her make it, but I've never done it on my own. Um, I've always helped. I love Kuska dogwood berry jelly. I've never heard of that either. Lavender Earl Grey jelly. Never heard of that. I know Earl Grey is tea. Kuska dogwood berry. Let me look that up. I'm going to see. Wow, those look kind of different kind of almost looks like a spotted cherry <laughs> uh, have a tropical sweet and earthy taste suited for fresh and cooked preparations fruits are eaten primarily eaten fresh out of hand hmm wow that's kind of interesting. 
My aunt makes blackberry and raspberry and strains all the seeds out. <laughs> now I got to get my freezer jam out. Yeah, we have, I think, some blueberries frozen, some blackberries frozen. I don't think we did any strawberries, but we got tomatoes and all my peppers from last year. So I still plan to make my uh, hot sauce and my salsa. Haven't got around to that. After tasting that habanero, I was like, I don't know if I want to mess with those. <laughs> but I do, I do want to make the hot sauce because I love hot sauce and salsa. <laughs> I strained them and just used the juice. That's kind of like uh, what my grandmother does. Um, for the blackberries. Well, I'm almost at an hour and a half, so I'm probably going to go ahead and wrap up here in just a second. Uh, thank you for joining me, everybody. Uh, and then, like I said, I had the winners to pick um, tomorrow for the Whisk of Giveaway. Um, on the 1st, I'll draw the, me and my grandmother will draw the monthly giveaway winner. And then later that evening, I will put out the video for June's um, monthly member and super chatter giveaway. Um, Jessica says my yard is lined with berries. Ours are already done except the ones in the back pasture, the hybrids. I need a second fridge just for canning. <laughs> wow. We have a second freezer. <laughs> for frozen stuff because it's not big enough for the uh, the little uh, split freezer so let me play my little video of Tom I wish he'd come home but I don't know if he's ever going to. Wapo was sick yesterday. Uh, he was he disappeared for two days. And now he's doing this thing where he coughs. And it sounds creepy. I think he got in a fight and is kind of recuperating. But, yeah. All right, everyone. Uh, thank you all for the super chats. And if you hadn't entered for the monthly giveaway, go do it now. Um, it dropped a few minutes ago. Uh, this month will include comments. So if you haven't left a comment, go and enter. Next month is not including comments, but July's will. So thank you again for joining me. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. And here is Tom to say thank you. Okay, <laughs> now I can say bye. The mic, uh, it, it's delayed. It mutes it, but I can see the video playing on my laptop, so I don't know. All right, everyone, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Uh, thanks for joining me. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you all later with a video of my Timu haul. Bye, everybody. <laughs>